Wall Street had its worst day in nearly two years as worries over the economy took its hold on the stock market. The Dow took the biggest hit. It dropped more than a thousand points. It's all over fears that the U.S. economy is slowing down after a series of disappointing reports. That includes a weaker than expected jobs report for July, with the unemployment rate rising to 4.3 percent. Fears of an economic slowdown also triggered a global market sell-off. Yeah, it started in Japan where stocks fell and the Nikkei 225 closed with its worst day since 1987. So what does this mean for all of us? Matt Stone has insight from some local financial experts. Fears of a U.S. recession were the main culprit for the global market meltdown. Local financial experts say expect a bumpy ride in the market over the next few months with stocks quickly moving up and down. There's certainly plenty of things out there to worry about. Uh, you have seen the U.S. economic data slow here recently, which is worrying some people a recession could be on the horizon. Uh, we've seen the unemployment rate tick up uh, over the course of the last six months or so. They say this is a time to learn, check your current assets, and reassess your potential risk. Don't do anything drastic with your portfolio. Those of us that are long-term investors, this is this is kind of part of what happens. These are these are unpredictable moments. Um, these are short term moments that again, what we want to do in the long term is not let one or two years dictate the next 20s. While it may look like a recession it could be in our future, experts say the immediate future will likely bring a reduction in interest rates. And that could be good news for those who want to borrow money to buy a home. It's looking like they'll probably do a half percent rate reduction at their next meeting in September. And then maybe a couple of quarter point cuts between September and December. Cuts in the interest rates may not have come soon enough, meaning it could take time for the effects to boost the economy. With more local news, I'm Matt Stone.